All right, my friends, welcome back to another episode of the Awake and Winning Coaches podcast. I'm Kaylor Betts, and Robin Clark is with me as usual. And we're talking about some of the most profound principles that we think are going to help you on your coaching journey. Today is a really powerful one, and that is something that Alex Ramosi talks about, um, which is that, you know, so many business owners, I mean, this is a, a global epidemic if we're being real about it. Um, anxiety, right? Anxiety mm -hmm. is uh, something that a lot of people struggle with. I struggled with it uh, for most of my life. It is something that I'm actually really proud to say. I don't really struggle too much. I mean, I, I have a very human amount of anxiety as an entrepreneur. And what I mean by that is like, I think it's a healthy amount of anxiety. I mean, if you don't have any anxiety as an entrepreneur, I think you're asleep or you're maybe not human. You might be an alien at that point. And, um, you know, a lot of people, I think, don't even realize where the antidote lies with their anxiety. And no, it's not Xanax. Um, it, it isn't going to the... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the, hey, we could have a whole conversation about why Xanax is a, uh, a great business and is a multi-billion mm. dollar business. But, um, you know, certainly it, I don't think is the best route and the answer for your anxiety. I believe that the way in which we can find the antidote to your anxiety is to actually look at, well, what is uh, the opposite of the antidote? And that is inaction. I think that most entrepreneurs sit in so much inaction and indecision, so much, and that that actually exacerbates and creates way more space for anxiety. I think oh, if yeah. most entrepreneurs focused on just doing what's required every day and taking more action, I think that would alleviate so much anxiety. It's not even funny. I think one of the reasons why we have a lot of anxiety is because anxiety is simply just worrying about the future, right? It's worrying about and anticipating something that you're concerned about that hasn't even happened. And yeah. imagine how powerful it is to alleviate your anxiety, to you know, take action, because I think what it does is it takes away two things. First off, when you're taking action, you're actually more so in the moment, and you're creating way less space to sit around and think about things that could happen in the future. That's number one. But then you also feel way more in the driver's seat of your business, because you're actually taking action on the things in which you can control, which then alleviate your concern to a certain extent about what could happen in the future as well, too. So I think so many people could have so much anxiety, so many entrepreneurs, so many coaches could have so much anxiety alleviated if they just took some action. Yeah, you know, what's so interesting about this, because this is like something I, <laughs> I struggle with sometimes. Um, but when you are thinking about all the things that you that could go wrong with every little step in your business, the list of things that you can think of that could go wrong is endless because I've, I've been there. I can come up with, I can literally come up with like hundreds of things that could go wrong with every little thing that I do in my business. Like, you know, recently I was doing a new hire and it caused so much anxiety and so much panic because I sat for a few weeks in like, here's all the things that could go wrong here. And that just makes you even more anxious. And the longer you wait, the longer that list gets. And it, it really gets you into a place where you can't, you've, it makes it even harder to start taking action. Um, whereas when you do, like, like you said, like just keep taking steps forward, start taking action, whatever that looks like for whatever it is that you're doing in your business, you pretty soon start to recognize that most of the time in business, like 80, I'd say 80 or 90% of the time, the actions that you're taking actually don't have any of those consequences. Yes, sometimes things go wrong, but it's like a very small percentage of the time when things actually go wrong. And when they do, you're actually just getting information like, oh, you know what, we can do this differently. Oh, you know what, maybe we need a pivot. Oh, this is good that we got this information now rather than three weeks down the line or three months down the line, because we can actually take that and do something else or go in a different direction. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it almost makes you feel like you can't move forward. And I, we were actually talking about this the other day, Kayla, how some people don't even start their coaching business because 
everybody has these like blocks towards something in business. And for some people, it's literally just the process of registering your coaching business. And that can feel so big. It can feel so heavy. It can feel so overwhelming. It can feel like, oh my gosh, there's so many different things that maybe I'll do wrong or I don't understand properly or this, 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 this can happen that it stops them from taking action in any other area of their business because they just feel like, well, if I can't do that, like I can't get started on anything else which also isn't true. That's one of those things where you can be like, well, we don't need to register it to get started. We can start with content. We can start with other things. And I think that kind of, I know we're going all over the show here, but it, it's making me think of the importance of taking tolerable steps when you do feel anxious around different things in your business. And it's sort of breaking that thing down. Like for example, hiring someone, it's like breaking it down into, well, what are all the teeny tiny little steps that I need to do to make that happen? Breaking those down and then just doing one at a time, doing one a day, even doing one a week, but slowly taking action, moving forward, building confidence by doing that. Um, and, and just not letting your, yourself get in that place where you aren't making decisions because yeah, it, it's a really bad space to be in. And I think it not only causes more anxiety, it makes you feel stuck. Um, yeah. The VA situation. So what alleviated the anxiety there? <laughs> the VA situation, you know what? And like, it's ridiculous how much anxiety I had around this. Like, I felt like I was going to pass out. And I know that sounds crazy because I have a team. I have hired people before, but for some reason, the, this VA for this particular role that they were being hired for gets access to certain accounts that I feel very protective over. Like very, I'm like, nobody gets the password, nobody. <laughs> and it's one of those things where I've had to like let go. And so what I did was I spent a few, two or three hours backing up everything in that account or as much as I could to the point where I'm like, okay, I've got, I've got like a lot of stuff here. If they go and delete everything, I backed up a lot of this and I just, I sent over the NDA. I sent over, I re looked at their testimonials and like reviews from past clients and I sent over the, the login actually last night. <laughs> and I don't know, once I had sent it over, I actually felt like I was at peace, but I have also done everything in my power to make sure that that account has been backed up. So now we're testing them at a place where, yeah, they could still do real damage. I'm not gonna lie. It could still have an impact on that account. But I also know like we're in business for the long game. Worst case, we lose stuff from the past year or so. And in the big scheme of things and 10 years from now, will I even remember this? No, like even five years from now. Um, but the impact of having that person take over that role and do those tasks is number one, gonna free up my time. Number two, it's gonna make us more sales. It's gonna make us more money and um, it's just one of those things that has to be done anyway. But yeah, it's it's crazy how silly this sounds, but maybe somebody listening can resonate. There's, there's certain things in business that everybody's gonna have like a block around. And for me, it's like letting go of passwords to accounts. That is like, I'm so protective over all the platforms in my business and all the passwords and I'm like, avoid giving those out at all costs. And the reality is then I tie up my time by doing that. Well, look, and that's why I wanted, you know, to really highlight the fact that your anxiety was alleviated when you took control of what you could. So your anxiety mm -hmm. was present when you were sitting in, in action and in decision, when you were not sure and you were going back and forth, should I hire this VA? Should I not? Should I give them the password? Should I not? And not taking action on it. What you did instead is you said, I just need to move forward. There's risk in either decision. I need to move forward. So you did what you control. You said, well, here's what will help me alleviate my anxiety is I'm going to back everything up so that my fear of giving them the password, it's less of a risk because I backed everything up. So you took advantage of what you can control. And then you made the decision. And what's so funny is you don't understand. So many people don't understand how much anxiety can be alleviated 
when you just stop sitting in indecision, when you actually just make the decision you're so anxious about, you make it and you're like, oh, that wasn't even that bad. It was actually just sitting yeah. in the indecision, right? Now, yeah, you don't have a, this is kind of a bit of a side point here that's so important. You don't have a business until someone else can fuck it up. Mm. I'm sorry, you don't have a business. You, you have you, a job. <laughs> you have a job. You have yeah. a job. If you have a, that's a very powerful point that I know is a little off track, but I just have to shine a light on that. You don't have a business. You're a freelancer. You've bought yourself a job. You've created yourself a job. And if you aren't willing to pass the torch and let people, you know, potentially screw things up here and there, I mean, think about it. Fill in the blank. Any entrepreneur that you would dream of filling, like changing places with like because they just have an unbelievable business you think they have a bunch of people that could fuck up not just their business but their life yeah that's how you grow and scale is you gotta pass the torch so very important point there as well too anyways yeah. my friends so glad you guys were here for this one this is an important one and make sure you're doing the right actions right it's not just about you know i think one thing that's really important is to make sure you're not diluted into thinking that it can be any action. Like if you're putting your efforts into an action that doesn't actually, you know, solve any problems in your business, that isn't actually the biggest lever that you can pull in your business, then what you're doing is you're actually just using it as a distraction to distract you away from the real work, which might be a little scary. But when you get the real work done, you get the result. And then you're more in the driver's seat of your business. Therefore, that alleviates a lot of anxiety because you don't have to worry about problems because you've been solving them all day long. So anyways. Yeah. And that's very... kind of, sorry, that's kind of what I love about the 90 day blueprint that we developed because it alleviates the need to think essentially on the things that you don't need to have to be thinking about. It just breaks down. Here's the steps to finding your niche, creating your offer, setting your business up, setting up your landing pages, getting your Instagram accounts going, getting the content out. And it breaks it all down into like really teeny tiny doable steps over 90 days. You don't have to think, what do I need to do now? How do I do it? You just look at the calendar, look at the blueprint. It tells you exactly what to do. And it's like, go do this. And I think that alleviates so much of that indecision and inaction because you don't have to even worry about it because you know number one this is a blueprint that works we've seen it in multiple businesses in my business um your business all of that number two like everybody's doing it at the same time as me as well and so it's so much easier to just go and take action when you know what you're doing is what's required and you know how to do it effectively and you don't have to sit there and write lists and brainstorm and think and research um, so I just wanted to share that for anyone who wants just to get the blueprint, get it done, um, not sit and think about all the different steps in your business because it makes a huge difference. Absolutely. And go to the awbiz.com to get that blueprint. Sign up for a yes. call to inquire about getting that blueprint. All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here today. Hope you got a lot of good nuggets out of that one and we'll see you on the next one.